today we're going to have a quick video because I got a package from Papa Tachi, so let's just go to the workbench and see what he sent me. So this was sent to me by Papa Tachi. Uh, thank you very much, buddy. This, I, I already know what's in here, or at least something that's in here. Uh, so let's just open this up and take a look. So, ooh, nope. Uh, let's go here. Oh, I thank you. Okay, so. Oh, very cool. Okay, so. Papatachi had made some scales for his Dart Zone Pro Mark th uh, Mark II. And I thought they were really, really cool. And I said, hey, if you ever start making, if you ever decide to start making them again, let me know. I'll order some. And so we went back and forth and asked me what I wanted. And so, yeah, he made me these custom uh, kind of tribal griever uh, side plates for my Dart Zone Mark II. And he actually sent me two copies of them. So thank you very much, Pop. Uh, also in the note here, he had sent me a, a couple of other things that he had made. Uh, one is a safety delete and spacer for the Mark II. So get a little more oomph out of the, uh, pistol and also the safety delete and also a safety delete and a spacer that he came up with for the Dart Zone Pro Mark I. So these are actually really, really cool. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to install those, but because I have completely and totally screwed up my one uh, Dart Zone Pro Mark II that you've already seen uh, either on my Instagram or me work on my channel at all, I thankfully did get a second one from Builder BB. I think either back at APOC or one of the Cataclysms. So this is what is going to get uh, all this stuff from Papatachi. And I decided I'm not going to do the whole uh, metallic purple paint job on it because I do like the, the red, but I also do like my charcoal gray model dye alongside it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the spacer, put in the safety delete, paint up the scales and you may notice that the slide is actually off of my other dart zone mark two that i've annihilated along with the front so it doesn't have a red uh, orange tip anymore but i mean the thing is bright red and it's going to stay bright red but to be on the safe side since i have two of them i now have two custom muzzles so for display purposes i will have an entirely all red and gray Dart Zone Mark II. And then if I do want to use it in said field or whatever, I have the orange one. And even though it does have the gray on it, it's still giant and orange. So it's, in my opinion, it's still safe. So there's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint up the trigger to match up. So that's going to go gray. I'm going to definitely paint up the two of these plates gray. Um, I'm going to leave two of them off to the side just to be on the safe side. Uh, and probably do a little bit of detailing work to make the inlays actually pop really nicely. And then, yeah, why not? We'll install these pieces as well to give this a bit of a performance boost. So I'm going to start taking apart this and then we'll see where we this goes in a moment. Okay, so a quick update on how things have been progressing. Um, and of course, like with anything I work on, I am changing up the plants a little bit. So originally my idea was going to be to do these scales in basically gray vinyl dye with painting the lion heart in purple to like kind of make it pop and still fit like, you know, my color scheme. Unfortunately, that didn't work out too well because the working theory was 
these scales that came off of the dead Mark II were basically going to be the ones that I use if I go to a Nerf event because I didn't want to run the risk of ruining the 3D printed ones. So I figure these are already the vinyl gray. Make the scales vinyl gray this way. If I swap them out, it's not going to be too much of an aesthetic difference. However, with the two extras that Papatachi sent me, thank you again very much for that. Uh, I decided to do a test run before I did the two that were going to be the ones. Uh, so this was the initial gray vinyl die with the purple inlay. And it didn't really work out the way I was hoping because the gray vinyl die is charcoal gray. So it's already kind of a dark color. And the purple that I had was a very dark purple. So they kind of just blend together a little bit and really aren't popping the way I was hoping that it would. Uh, and for anyone curious, this is the purple that I was using, a Citadel paint called Xerxes Purple. So, I mean, it is a very nice purple, don't get me wrong, I like it. But just the two together like this were not working very well. So, I took the other, the second scale and decided to do kind of a reversal of that. So, I took my metallic purple lacquer that everyone knows I love. And I put that over it and then decided to inlay the lion heart with a silver or a gray. I didn't really have a dark gray, and I'm kind of glad for that because I think if I used the dark gray, it would have had the same effect as the other one. So I used this uh, Citadel paint called Lead Belcher, which it kind of almost looks like a light gunmetal. And I have to say, it worked out really, really nice. I mean, like, this is basically the effect I wanted. I wanted the color and then the and then the uh, light heart to just pop. So I think this is going to be the color combination I'm going to go with. And also, like, kind of, like, looking at it in hindsight, the metallic purple is technically an automotive paint. So what I'll do is... I'll put a light saving on these just to knock off the uh, gray, or I may just leave it as is, and just put the layer of uh, the purple lacquer on top of these. So again, I'm getting the same thing of I have my display piece, I have my use pieces, so there's that. I may wind up even just putting a matte clear coat over this, just so this way it kind of dulls the shine so it doesn't like kind of reflect too, too much on camera. And, you know, also it will protect it, but I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, also, for any of those curious, I'm only going to be doing the Lionheart. Like, besides that, there are these uh, other little recesses up here and down here that Papatachi put in. And, I mean, they look cool and I really like them. However, since I suck at hand painting... On this one, I had a little bit of a goof, and I got too much on it. And as I tried to wipe it off, it just spread the metallic particles all over the place. So rather than risk, you know, kind of ruining it, I'm just going to stick to the part that I know I can paint and just leave it at that. So that's where this is standing. I still have to put the spring spacer into the Mark II itself. And I also still want to paint the trigger the gray just so this way it all kind of blends together and it just stays my colors. And don't worry, I do have the orange one. So in case if I go anywhere, I still have the giant orange tip. I think I covered this already, but I recorded that part a day or so ago. So I honestly don't remember, but I'm actually going to take a break tonight because one, this update went a lot longer went a little longer than I had wanted it to. And also I have to clean all of this up because Arlene is coming by the shop tomorrow to work on a couple of things. And yeah, we need the workspace. So I'm going to take care of that. Hopefully I will get to this, finish this up sooner than later, but you're just going to see it right away anyway. So hope you like how everything came out. All right, so before I give you the final reveal on the Dart Zone Pro Mark II, I just want to give a shout-out again to Papatachi for, one, thank you very much for actually making me these scales. 
Uh, they came out really nice. I'm very happy with them. And also thank you again for all the little extra goodies that you put into it. Uh, they, they've worked out very nice, I can say that much, but I'll save that for the final reveal. But also, for my viewers, honestly, if you are not uh, checking out Papatachi, I really recommend you go check out his channel. I'll actually put a link down in the description below for it. Uh, Pop is an old school NIC player, kind of like myself. Uh, he definitely started way before me, way more talented than me. And he's actually been a very big supporter of my channel for quite a number of years. And he did take a hiatus from the uh, hobby for quite some time. But he's actually trying to get back into the swing of things now. And so far, the stuff that he's actually been working on has actually been pretty damn cool. Like, this stuff for the Mark 1.1, the 2, and a few other things that he's worked on. So go check out his channel. He's also going to be working on a bit of an old school meets new school type of project where he's going to be starting a AirTech 3000 build, but utilizing some of the tools and techniques that we use more nowadays rather than back in the day. So that's going to be a really cool uh, series, I think, and I'm really excited to see how it comes out. So definitely go check him out. And now on to the reveal. Okay, so here is the finished Dart Zone Pro Mark II with Papatachi upgrades. Now, I do apologize. I know this isn't normally how I do a build guide or a mod guide. Uh, this was really just a kind of showcase of the parts that Pop was nice enough to uh, send to me, along with, you know, how it turned out in the final build. Yeah, we'll go with that. So... Honestly, the parts that I got sent were very easy drag-and-drop pieces. The safety delete literally just replaces the safety switch that's in here. If the blaster's open, you just swap out the pieces, and that's it. The spring spacer uh, friction fits right into the spring rest that's at the back of the blaster where the catch is, and that's it, really. Uh, closing it may be a little tricky with the pre-compression of the spring because of how mid it race perfect these internals are um, or space deprived I should say but either way but yeah those were really honestly very simple installs and then just to also showcase the scales because they came out so nice um, I'm really happy with that I went with the purple with the uh, that lead belcher kind of uh, like gunmetal because it really just makes the scale pop so nicely uh, you, It goes really well against the red. I'm very happy with it And for those of you who are wondering what performance I am now getting out of <coughs> Excuse me. I'm now getting out of the mark II. Um, I actually did record my Saturnus uh, footage and that will be here while I kind of ramble about this bit because it actually did improve the performance of this a lot, or not a lot, but at least a good deal. Um, this is now hitting an average of 140 FPS, and also the Prime really isn't that much heavier than what it once was, so it's still easy to pull back, Prime, get your shots out, and you're not going to really have too, you're not going to notice too much of a difference. Now, the one thing I will say, because Pop had pointed it out to me, and I did notice it after kind of like thinking about it all, without the aluminum scales on here, this actually does feel a little lighter, and with the muzzle brake on it, does kind of make it a little bit more front heavy. Without it, though, it just feels lighter. Like, it's not a bad thing, but it just, it kind of feels like it's just a lighter pistol now. But, yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. So, thank you, Pop, for doing the work on these. And thank you again for all the extra little goodies that you sent as well. So, so that's where I'm going to end it for this video. And, as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my Mark II with the upgrades that I put on it. And, also, please go check out Papatachi's channel. Again, link in the description down below. And don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And 
Reminder, we have a P.O. box, so if you want to make the mailman do some extra stuff, you know, there's that. Uh, again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.